What if you could determine the amount of influence you have on the people around you? The Newton Slade's Law of Universal Influence proposes that the anthropoidal force of influence experienced between two people is directly proportional to the product of their extrinsic values, such as sociosexual market value, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them, akin to Dunbar layers. This idea is rooted in the physical laws governing the natural world and extends these principles into the realm of human relationships. Here we'll explore Newton's law of universal gravitation, its similarity to Coulomb's law, and how both can be used to model human relationships. Newton's law of universal gravitation describes the force of attraction between two objects with mass. Formulated by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century, this law was a groundbreaking discovery in the field of physics. The law was published in 1687 in Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, more commonly known as the Principia. This work built upon earlier contributions from notable figures such as Nicholas Copernicus, Johannes Kepler, Galileo Galilei, and others. Newton proposed that every particle of matter in the universe is attracted to every other particle of matter with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. This principle provided a unified theory for various phenomena. Newton's law not only explained the observed orbits of celestial objects, but also accounted for phenomena such as tides and the motion of projectiles on Earth. It laid the foundation for classical mechanics and served as the cornerstone of physics for centuries, only being superseded by Einstein's general relativity. Similar to Newton's law of universal gravitation, Coulomb's law describes the force of repulsion or attraction between two charged objects. Named after the French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb, it plays a crucial role in our understanding of electrical interactions. In 1767, English chemist Joseph Priestley was among the first to suggest that electric force followed an inverse square law similar to gravity. In 1785, Coulomb conducted a series of experiments using a torsion balance to measure the force between charged objects. Although many scientists confirmed the inverse square law relationship experimentally, Coulomb was the first to publicly enunciate his results. Coulomb discovered that the force between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This provided a quantitative framework for understanding the behavior of charged particles and enabled precise predictions about the forces acting between them. Coulomb's law remains a cornerstone of electromagnetism and continues to be studied and applied in various fields of science and engineering. The vast majority of modern technology relies heavily on Coulomb's law or its derivatives. Despite operating through different mechanisms, both laws describe how the force between objects depends on their intrinsic properties, mass or charge, and the distance separating them. This underscores the universality of the inverse square law and its applicability to different types of interactions in physics. Newton Slade's law of universal influence describes the anthropoidal force between two people anywhere in the anthropic domain. Developed in 2022 by Colin Slade, this law combines the inverse square law with the concept of sociosexual market value as well as Dunbar layers to propose that the influence experienced between two people is directly proportional to the product of their extrinsic values and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This law provides a quantitative framework for understanding human interaction, aiding the study, design, and manufacture of tactics, techniques, and procedures for the anthropic domain. Additionally, it serves as a starting point for more in-depth analysis of the anthropic domain, such as Maxwell's equations and Einsteinian relativity applied to human interaction. Just as we use Newton and Coulomb's law to develop useful technologies, we can use Slade's law to test old and develop new theories of human interaction. We already use gravity and electromagnetism to describe our relationships in everyday language with phrases like, I am really drawn to her. He's such a chick magnet. Why am I so attracted to bad boys? He's one of her beta orbiters. These expressions reflect the underlying principles of attraction and repulsion that Slade's Law aims to quantify. 
Newton's Slade's law of universal influence quantifies human interaction in a manner similar to the physical forces of gravity and electromagnetism. By understanding and applying Slade's law, we can operate more effectively in the anthropic domain. Consider how you can use Slade's law to increase your influence on others and decrease unwanted influence on you. By applying these principles, you can navigate social interactions with greater awareness and effectiveness.